Hello world and welcome back, I'm Karu the Great Bear of the North and this is Dungeons 2, a spiritual successor to the classic Dungeon Keeper. It's made by Realmforge Studios and Calypso, game, Calypso Media Digital. It is a fantastic game, it's filled with dark humor, but you already know this, you've seen the first episode. Let's just get right into this. Once the ultimate evil had escaped from the depths, still fettered to the throne, it traveled to wreak terrible vengeance on those who had done this, heavily supported by its little snots. The first target was Paladin Robert, now King of the Alliance. He had withdrawn to the quiet surroundings of his hunting lodge. There, he would be the perfect victim. Just a little out of character thing. My brother's name is Robert. So anytime I see something like King Robert has to die, I immediately think of my brother. And I'm like, I don't want to kill him. But, uh, sorry Rob, it's going to happen. According to scouts, King Robert spent most of his time strolling around his hunting lodge garden reciting poetry. Soon his poetry would turn into mournful ballads. The vengeful evil thirsted to defeat the Alliance's king and mount his head on the wall as a trophy. Whoops, of course, I really mean that he wanted to take all of King Robert's cookies away. <laughs> Better play it safe or the age classification folks will be after me. Before that, however, the ultimate evil had to do a bit of work on the dungeon. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to fund even a small army made up of a few orcs. All right, let's work on the dungeon. All right, let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, guys. That was a bit awkward. Let's get some... Let's get some gold. Whoops. Ah! Let's get some gold happening here. Boom, boom, boom. That appears to all be gold that we're mining out. All right. Oh, let's also mine out this. All right. La, 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 la. There we go. More gold. Okay. So, first things first, we need... Well, we've got treasure rooms right there. Pretty close to... I don't know if I need to build a secondary one here. I might have to save all that much time, but we do, however, need a brewery. There. The first brewery was completed. Soon beer would be flowing like a river. And an Oktoberfest atmosphere would pervade all. Two, three, four, would the five, ultimate six, evil put the beer baron out of business? Ugh, such a duff reference. <laughs> oh, that's a Simpsons joke. I love that. I love that one. That was quite good. That was quite good. Um, all right, so there's our brewery. We've expanded it by two by combined six spaces because each of the cauldrons. Sorry, the brew kettles take up um, a 3x3 three three space, so if we have a 6x3, we can fit two in there quite nicely. Um, we just need to get these lazy wads to hurry up. Boom. Boom, smack. Um, we could probably also go like with the, another the couple. The warmongering evil had hired the first orc. As ancient wisdom says, violence is a solution, usually the only one. Correct. We do need to hire three orcs to defend against guys coming in through through here. So let's get that happening. We, there we go. Another That's a second orc. orc. Entered the service of the military savvy evil. The horde was growing and prospering. Indeed. Get another little snot. Boom. See, there we go, they're expanding the brewery, and I will also expand the brewery. There we go, one more. Come on, snuzzle. Oh, I don't have enough gold. Ha. Ah, that's awkward. Oh, hey, more gold. Love it. Um, oh, down here, what should the be down here? I guess they'll be... Book, hmm. The steady pounding in the rocks had given rise to overworld rumors of a new dungeon. A group of heroes set out to plunder its riches, and the ultimate evil was already looking forward to this visit. <laughs> Are people coming? Are people coming? 
Nope, nobody's coming. All right. That's okay. I do need to hire a third orc anyways. Come on, orcs. Oh, enemies have entered the dungeon. Let's pick up my orcs. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. Rihanak? Rihanak? <laughs> Rihanna. And Kargok! Kargok smash! Brr, 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 brr. Love it. Whoop! I noticed you can also the do this. The didn't know mm. what had hit them, as several orcs bore down from nowhere and annihilated them. Annihilated this them. This group of heroes had plundered their last dungeon, but there would be more. Of course there will be more, and I'm looking forward to more. I want there to be more. There we go, there's the three orcs. The attack appeared to be right. On the surface, in the tavern of a small, miserable village, some adventurers gathered. They were acquiring Dutch courage for their visit to the dungeon by downing several beers. The dungeon had to be destroyed. All right. Let's destroy their dungeon. There we go, we're into the overworld. What is this? Range of view plus 50%. Um, pick it up. Pick it up. Hmm. There you go. One of them will get range of view 50%. And Rihanna. Rihanna, the explorer, actually. Okay, we got those four chumps. Yeah, this isn't going to take long. I could probably do with another two orcs just to make this take even less time. And reduce the chance that one of my orcs is gonna, you know, go go belly up. But um, let's hopefully let's hope this doesn't happen. No, I don't think this is gonna happen. I think we're gonna get through them fairly quickly. Yeah, especially once, especially once these little the two little dudes slowly made itself cozy underground. Although this was a sensible decision. There was a large and lovely overworld out there, just waiting to be destroyed. Stop mocking me, that's exactly where I am. Hey exactly there. where I am. I'm fairly certain I'm above ground. Like, what, what, what do you want from me, narrator? Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. There we go. Seven. Not much longer now. <gasps> we got more. Somebody might die. Rianic the Explorer. No, no, no. This is this can't happen. Rianic the Explorer is 14 hit points left. Oh, each hit is only doing one damage. Okay, good. Rianic is not gonna die. She's under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. Of protection. There would be no more heroes meeting there to seek out the dungeon of the destruction hungry evil. The hunting lodge of King Robert lay in the north. It was there that the ultimate evil would finally get its long awaited revenge. However, it looked pretty damn well guarded. Maybe it should first visit the cave to the west, inhabited by a clan of goblins, where the cunning evil could do a little negotiating. Well, let's get some gobos. Oh, no, I want... I don't want Rianic to be part of this. Rianic is a little bit hurt. I don't want Rianic to die. There we go. Boom. And now let's take all of them. Lafrash and Kargulk and Rianic. Take them to talk to this goblin chieftain. I love how the environment changes. I love that. That is such a nice, nice feature to this game. Doesn't take much to change it, you just need to walk through it, but hey. The goblin leader prostrated himself joyfully before the ultimate evil, and immediately dispatched two goblins into its dungeon with a few plans for a new room, a tinkerer's cave. This was built as quickly as possible. Fantastic. So I'm going to go build a tinkerer's cave and send these guys back to defend. So there we go. And now I'm just going to send these guys right back across. Boom. Good, they are coming back. So let's go back down to the dungeon. We need what appears to be a treasure room. Oh, we also need a brewery. Okay. Let's 
Explode. Let's expand the brewery. There we go. There's one mighty cauldron. There's a second mighty cauldron. Love it. Oh, cool. We've got some more gold up here. So I'm actually going to make this our, our... Oh, that's a lot of gold. Ooh. That's a lot of gold. So this is going to be our, our treasure room right in here. So let's go back. Treasure room that way. Everybody will First be right... treasury was completed. Soon greedy evil's little snots would fill it with gold. You know the golden rule, right? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. That is correct. But that way, I can get more more stuff. Um, but we've also got some gold here. But you know what? Let's not dig that out yet. Let's focus on these three, because our gold chamber is right next to it. There we go. Very nice. We'll also actually fill this as a gold chamber. There we go. So, we've got that. Let's get a tinkerer's cave going. Let's get... Um, let's get this. I don't know what we need for a tinkerer's cave. Well, let's make it big, just in case we need it to be big. And there's nothing wrong with a room that's too big at this stage in the game. I, I don't think we're going to have all that many rooms to play with anyways. So... It'll probably slip the ultimate evil's mind, but a new room is at its disposal. Thank you. After it recalled this back, it immediately set about building. Yes. Thank you. Let's just wait a little bit for Snuffle and Snuzzle to finish. Enemies have entered the dungeon. More enemies. All right. So let's get my. Goblins. The tinkerer's cave was built. It could, however, only be used as a warehouse, as it lacked the workshop that the insidious evil's goblins needed. Oh. Quick as a flash, evil placed a creator mat in the tinkerer's cave. There we go. I just want to make sure that these guys go away. Got some gobos. Got some orcs. Kicksonks and ricks ricksides. All right. And did Karka just gain a level? Oops. Nope. I think Karka just gained a level. But I can't actually click on him without picking him up, and I don't want to pick him up. Okay, so this is the Tinkerer's Cave. Um, let's expand it. There we go. Oh, oh, we needed money for that. Oh, dears. Okay. Um, here, well, let's just expand that there. Just whatever. We've got plenty of gold coming in right up here with Snuzzle and Snuffle and Snopsy. There we go. There we go, we expand that. And then as soon as we get, what, 350? We're gonna get a uh, create o -Mat. We're gonna create create o -Mat. All right. It's payday. It's payday. I love the narrator in this game. Just so dismissive sometimes. It's, it's amazing. One of the things I noticed is, um, I don't know if this isn't, if this has any bearing on the gameplay, but if they're not doing anything else, the orcs and the goblins will actually the go around. The was still lying there completely useless. The forgetful evil should place a creator mat in there soon so that this room can be productive. We're not forgetful and waiting for gold. Relax, narrator. Relax. Um, Orcs will actually go around and they will improve the walls. I don't know if that does anything. I mean... I think I think it has something to do with efficiency. Rooms with walls are significantly more effective than open rooms. Similarly, it helps if the walls are also upgraded. Are these upgraded walls? Yeah, cool! Cool, the, the efficiency is actually a little bit higher. There we go. Let's create a create o mat A sparkling new create o mat graced the Tinkerer's Cave of the Expansion Hungry Woo! A goblin would be able to work well in here, producing toolboxes. A few of these boxes would now be needed in order to invent a trap. The moody evil waited patiently. Okay, so we need one toolbox and 500 gold to get an exploding treasure chest trap. Oh, I like that. That's devious. What else can we research? We can, uh, we can improve rooms. Oh, uh, there's hospitals. I guess that actually heals our guys. 
Um, but we can't research anything else right now. So we're just going to leave the one gobbo in there. Kick songs. Good, we got plenty of cash. Or 16. Um, you know, let's get another orc. Just because, you know, defense. Defense! Defense! Or whatever. Um, but I will eventually want some more little snots. Let's get one more orc and two little snots. Yeah, that way I can get more- I can get gold faster, I can get beer faster, I can actually get everything done well. Uh, okay, so there's that, he's clicking on there, they're down there, and we've got these three buddies up here- these five buddies up here. Nice. Okay. Whoop. Let's go with one more little snot. We are at our population cap, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Snuffer, snupsy, snuzzles. I'm supposed to know Snooky. That seems like it's a reference that they would make. Um. Yalach. The Frash. I love the names in this. Okay. Oh, we've got our 500, so let us research exploding treasure chests. Okay, so this one goblin is researching traps. And what is the Frash doing? What was the Frash doing? The Fresh is idly lolling around. But Yala is motivating others. Oh! The orcs go around and I guess they smack people to keep them... make them work faster. Heh. <laughs> awesome. Awesomeness. Yeah, this game's delicious. The goblins were, their creativity more than made up for this. They proudly presented the treacherous evil with their plan for a devious trap. <laughs> With a silent, evil cackle, it quickly buckled down to setting the trap. There we go. We've got a track. 2WP? What's WP? I don't know what WP means. Oh, well, we got a lot of gold. We got lots of gold coming in. This is good. We got our four orcs for defense. We got our exploding traps for defense. Alright, let's get another explody trap. There we go, we got two explodey traps for defense. I like that. And we've got Snoffer. Hurry up, you Snoffer. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on. You lazy git. Come on, Snaffer. Actually, you know what? Let's build another Creato Mat, because I think Creato Mats are the things that build. Um, Are the things that build, uh... What sort of looking for? Um, toolboxes. So if I want to, b to build the traps faster, I need more toolboxes. There we go. Pro tip, you can hit R to rotate the set pieces. Just throwing that out there. Um, cool. The trap was finished and ready to be found by a hero. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Indeed Just it will. Moment, a particularly powerful dwarf warrior appeared in the dungeon. How had he suddenly Convenient. arrived at this precise time was indeed most odd, but his presence was more than welcome. He was going to be a guinea pig for the trap. And we all know dwarves love, love gold. Even this strong dwarf warrior didn't stand a chance against the treacherous traps and powerful monsters of the invincible evil. He bit the dust. So much for a game of dwarves. <laughs> the dungeon's defenses were now clearly much improved, but the hunting lodge still remained well protected and impregnable. There was nothing that the ultimate evil could do. The task was impossible. So the evil withdrew, bent and broken. Let feelings of revenge ebb away, and instead took up looking after those cute, teeny weeny trees. What are they called again? Bonsai, yes, I The end. What?